Okay, so this is a great stretching video for anyone who can't get on the floor to do their stretches or if you're at your desk at work and you want to stretch in your chair. So, first of all, we're going to do the knee to chest stretch. Interlace your fingers and hook them around your left knee. Now, with your arms, pull the knee towards the chest until you feel a comfortable stretch in the glutes and lower back. Hold there for 30 seconds. You might find throughout the stretch you can actually pull a little bit tighter. If you feel any sharp pain, back off a little bit. And then switch to the other side. Hook the fingers around the knee, to the right knee this time, and then pull with your arm strength. You pull your knee towards your chest until you feel the stretch in the glute again. So I can just feel a nice comfortable stretch in my right buttock now. And lower back. Hold it there, try to get a little bit closer. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and then release. Next we're going to do a sitting twisting stretch. So you're just going to turn to the left hand side. If your chair has an armrest, you can hold on to that or you can hold the backrest of the chair and your own knee. And you just sit upright and turn the body from the waist first upwards to the left hand side until you're facing the left side of your chest or whatever you can do. If it's only here, that's fine. And then try to increase the stretch throughout the 30 seconds and hold at the end point where you feel the tension. Relax back to the center and do the same to the right hand side. Turning the body from the waist, first of all, up and then finally the chest. Try to breathe nice and slow as well, it'll help the stretch. You can also do some uh, side stretching, so uh, you can put your arm in the air and then lean to the left hand side until you feel a stretch along the, the, the muscles on the side here. Holding there again for 20 to 30 seconds. If you don't want to put your arm in the air, you can just lean to the side. It just gives you an extra stretch. Then back to the center and over to the right hand side. Again, if you can put your arm in the air, do so. You don't have to have it straight in the air, you could have it bending like this. And then back to neutral after 20 to 30 seconds. Also, if you've got the hip and knee flexibility and you don't have any knee problems, you can try this one. So you bring your left foot up onto the right knee. Make sure that this doesn't come upwards, but you push it down. You push your left knee down with your left arm just to keep it almost horizontal. And then lean forward so that your chest is trying to come down towards the leg. And this will do the left glute. In this case, if your left leg is up, it's the left glute you're stretching. Again, just a comfortable stretch in the muscle. We're going to hold for 20 to, 20 to 30 seconds again. Okay, and then same on the other side. Bring your right foot up onto the left knee. My right side is less flexible. Just a little bit of pressure just to keep the leg from coming up and then leaning forward, okay? So just again, feeling it in the glute to the buttock muscle on the side um, that the leg is up. So in this case, my right leg is up on the left knee, so my right glute is being stretched. And again, just a comfortable stretch by leaning forward, trying to bring the chest forward into the lap. And then back. Also try extension. So just sit upright in your chair and just arch back a little bit. This can aggravate back pain. If you do have pain when you do this one, don't do it. But if you, don't, if you feel comfortable, then you can sit upright and just arch your lower back. And again, hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. If you prefer, you don't have to do a static stretch. You can do some mobilization. So you can actually, for example, with the knee to chest stretch, pull the leg up, back off a little bit, then pull it back, back off. And you just repeat this for about 30 seconds instead. So either you can do the static hold for 30 seconds, or you can just do repeated mobilizations like this in each of the stretches. 
And you might even hear some clicks and pops. That's normal, don't worry about that. And that's it, dead easy. And I'm Owen Evans, The London Cairo. And you can see more on my website, www.thelondoncairo.com.